so uh, sometimes we we have this conflict in our mind of is it um, some some people for example are very spiritual but they're not religious you know like they're very spiritual they think about uh, reflecting and um, the heart matters of the heart and even you know zikr and things like that but they don't necessarily want to implement you know fiqh and sharia in their lives and um, I would say the questioner kind of asked it in mentioned it in the question itself but these two things are, are very linked that you um, sometimes you don't even know that the spiritual opening could come through something that is outwardly seems kind of boring, you know, like, which is just following the rituals of Islam. There's a reason by, behind it, you know, that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did that, like, why he prayed a certain way, why he had certain rules of uh, how, what to eat, what not to eat, how to be clean, how to do these things. Um, all of this is part of a holistic approach to the human being. That the human being is not just the spirit, but we have the body. We also have the mind. All of these things have to be uh, occupied and dealt with accordingly. Um, so it's very difficult to just take one out. I mean, there's other traditions where they only take the literal things and they ignore the spiritual things, right? They've become very li ritual, literal, and they've become a lot of strict, and they don't talk about the heart at all. That's the opposite extreme. That's also bad. We have to be right in the middle, in that sweet spot in the moderation where we have, we can rely on spiritual truths, we can rely on the ritual and, the, and the, pr the practice of what our faith teaches, and we can think about the theology of Allah and use you know, mental exercises to keep us also in line. So it's a, it's a, it's a balance between all of these things, I think. Just, just basically, reflection and zikr can be uh, an antidote to, um, to complement the, the actual physical, but is it as, as important as the yeah. Cool. yeah, they're all important because like you can't just do dhikr and salawat and to relieve your heart and you're not praying. Like, you know, the the prayer actually has even the movements of the prayer have benefits, you know, and you'll even see other traditions like yoga traditions, they use a lot of the same movements and they're using it for a similar purpose to retain that balance in their life, a serenity in their in peace, a state of peace. Um, so the movement is important, the the ritual is important. Cleanliness is important. You mentioned that the brother was talking about the diet and nutrition even. And, you know, attention to what we put in our body and what we consume. What do we watch on the internet? What do we put in our brain? All of these things are, um, are you know, interacting together. So um, it's not just like one thing alone that, that we should focus on. Although there are times when it's helpful to have like the right dhikr or the right dua to say to kind of, you know, bring it all together.